This is a 1968 280SL Mercedes-Benz. Uh, Dick and Marty Olson of Minneapolis, Minnesota own this car, and they're friends of mine and have been on the Walleye 1000 Vintage Rally, gosh, I think every, all of them. All times. All times. So this will be the fourth year, the, the event that's coming up. Uh, briefly, Dick, tell us a little bit about the car. I know that you had it restored, largely restored, about 10 years ago. Is that right? Well, I actually bought the car about 15 years ago. We were living in Florida, and an older gentleman uh, had this car. It, it had been an original to him, and it had been stored in Florida, driven but stored in Florida for an extended period of time. I bought it for what I thought was a reasonable price, $11,000. And, and that was 15 years ago? It was 15 years ago. And I, it, the wheels, the tires were pretty, you know, looked like could have been the original tires on the thing. And I, um, I had it transported up thinking that I'm going to have to find somebody to, to work on the mechanicals and then the body. And I discovered a, a fellow, uh, I had a, a lake home in Glenwood, Minnesota, f discovered a fellow in Alexandria that had once worked as a Mercedes mechanic in the West Coast. So it, it was of a vintage that knew how to repair things like this. In fact, they had a 280 SL up on this lift. So I got a lot of stuff done locally in, in the mid-state. And then I uh, started the body work on it. And we discovered uh, <clears throat> that it had been repainted. And the repaint job included some kind of putty mixed with paint because as we started seeing problems with the paint, we peeled it back and it had been, been painted right over rust. Right. So not all that unusual when these were just sort of, you know, used cars right. in the 80s and right. 90s. That wasn't at all uncommon. So it's a lesson that I, I've learned once and I'm, I'm probably not going to restore again. When I buy another one of these, you know, I'll want to know a lot more of the history of it. But it was a wonderful learning experience. I uh, uh, ended up having it com completely restored probably 12 11 or 12 years ago. I mean, it was a, something that took us more than a year to get it done. And uh, it's a wonderful car. I use it as a driver. I've never wanted this to be a, a car for show. I wanted it to, to enjoy it to drive. And like you said, I've been on your uh, Walleye 1000. I think this will be my fourth time, right? That's right. That's exactly right. And I love to drive it. I absolutely love to drive it. And we. Uh, we kind of run right now mostly on the hard top you know that you have to be fairly serious about getting the hard top on and off these are almost 100 pound hard tops and i have no place in my condo to to hang it up like most people do well i i you're a man after my own heart because my car uh, i drive it uh, this is a gorgeous little car, but I'm so glad that you know you get out and you use it. And they're they're great cars. They start when you want them to start. They they're wonderful drivers. Thanks for bringing it out and sharing it with us. Uh, it's a fairly unusual color combo, I would think. Silver with the dark green hubcaps and dark green hardtop. Um, thanks so much for bringing it out, Dick. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the Walleye 1000. Great, Dave. Thanks.